Anne. I'm Samantha Patrone, and you're watching Heroes Haven Highlights. We've got an episode chock full of Marvel and some other great previews as well, so stick around. Ant-Man number one from Marvel. Scott Lang has never exactly been the world's best superhero. Heck, most people don't even think he's been the best Ant-Man. And the last guy invented Ultron and joined the Masters of Evil, so that's saying something. But when the superior Iron Man calls with a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, Scott's going to get the chance to turn it all around and be the hero he's always dreamed of being. Sure, he's been to prison. Sure, he's been through a messy divorce. Sure, he's been, uh, dead. But this time is different. This time, nothing is gonna stop the astonishing Ant-Man. Wolverine's number one from Marvel. From the pages of Death of Wolverine, The Logan Legacy, and The Weapon X Program, Wolverine may be dead, but what will happen to his mortal remains encased in something as rare and powerful as adamantium? The battle for control of this valuable artifact has begun, but why does it matter so much? And why is war brewing in Logan's name? Death is on the books for a dozen heroes and villains, and Mystique is playing chess with them all, including X-23, Sabretooth, Lady Deathstrike, and more. Murder, mutilation, betrayal, and trauma. None will be spared. Unbeatable Squirrel Girl number one from Marvel. Wolverine, Deadpool, Doctor Doom, Thanos. There's one hero that's beaten them all, and now she's got her own ongoing series. That's right, you asked for it, you got it. It's Squirrel Girl. It's the start of a brand new series of adventures starring the nuttiest and most upbeat superhero in the world. Well, as you can see, Marvel's really stepping up their game. Wait, hold on a second. Marvel is completely retconning Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver's lineage. What do you think about that? Son, just don't. Marvel is being forced to change the twins' origins due to Fox's current ownership of Magneto and the mutants. This is clearly an attempt to make their comics characters more cohesive with their cinematic counterparts, and furthermore, it's a fantastic business decision since they can drum up interest in the Inhumans before the movie comes out. But, but... I did, I did, anyway, thank you so much for tuning in for this week's Heroes Haven Highlights. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel on YouTube and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. I'm Samantha Patrone for Heroes Haven Comics, and taglines are for squares.